Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Strikers. Today's the day we send the last calling card. It's a little bittersweet, but, well, we gotta do it. The whole world is counting on the Phantom Thieves! So, before we head in, uh, d d do you have Rajanaga? If you if you don't, hmm. you might want to grab him. It's pretty, pretty good. Electric Persona might be kind of nice. Outside of that, if you have a similar party set up to me, you should be fine in this next boss battle. And I have some bond <laughs> points I've been strategically saving. Heads up, the Avenger skill might be nice to have in this upcoming boss fight. To make it simple, if you dodge at the right time, you can counterattack. And if you increase this skill even higher with the bond gauge, you can stun your opponent. But chances are... I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. This dude's finna take this L. Yes. Indeed. We must prepare the L. I mean, we prepared a suitable calling card. Have you thought of what to write, Sinkichi? Ah, uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. <sighs> Don't blame me if it sounds weird. <sighs> just remember you asked for this, okay? After all the crap we put Akane through, we gotta make this count. Put him on blast! Whatever that means. Delivering the calling card is just the beginning. We're counting on you to help us finish the jobs, Zenkichi. Yeah, I'll bet. You guys are real slave drivers, you know that? Some kind of card? Wait, that's... Phantom Thieves? Is it actually real? Testing! One, two, one, two! Okay, looks like we're live! So, I just talk into this? You're not, man! Just say it! Uh, okay. <sighs> Are you listening, Kunoe? Toying with innocent lives, slandering us. You've been busy, but so have we. Now it's payback time. Ready or not, here we come! To the villain who thinks he's a hero, Akira Kunoe. You stole the desires of countless people. And tonight, we're begging them, uh, I mean, taking them. Oh, you had one line! I meant to say that, faking it, you know, like in a moment. Seriously? It's a practice. The Phantom Thieves? Impossible! To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kanoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and shifting the blame for the murder of one of his employees. On top of that, Party A is also guilty of wrongfully imprisoning a group of minors. Therefore, in addition to putting out a formal warrant of arrest for Party A's crimes, tonight the Phantom Thieves will commit some larceny of their own and take back every desire you've stolen? Is this some kind of joke? Emma, what the hell is going on? I, I thought we trapped them in the jail. Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Give don't give me that, Emma. I'm your master. Now answer me, damn it. Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Unable to answer. God damn it! You think you could change my heart? Wretched little urchins. I won't be defeated so easily. Taking back the desires. You think you can steal from me? Fools! I am the very hero these people have been praying for. The Phantom Thieves are the evil that stands in the way of that. Come then, let's see who changes who. Losing it right about now. Dispensing the calling cards from the enemy's own airship. 
What a truly impeccable strategy. How much you want to bet the police are already all over that thing? Aw, won't it be sad when they find out we were broadcasting from a remote location? Nice job, Monens and Gigi. Jeez. That was some contraption you put together. You did good too, Sophia. All I did was search the web for a blueprint we could use. Was it okay for us to leave it on the airship, though? Nah, I built it using a bunch of junk parts you can find just about anywhere. We're in the clear. Word has certainly reached Kanoe by now. Yeah, but a calling card. You couldn't have added a little more spice there, Gramps? To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kanoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and... Party A? It's an arrest warrant. Is there a problem? It's supposed to be a calling card. What the hell is this Party A crap? Oh, shut up. Real big talk come from the guy who screwed up his line. What? Look, I told you I didn't screw up. We're faking them. <laughs> You're right. It's very much Senkiji san's style. I thought it was different. Fine, whatever. If things go well, hopefully this will be the last one. The last calling card. Hmm. Kind of sad when you think about it. Hey, this fight's just getting started. All right, here we go. Time for the big finish. After all the pain and suffering, Kanoe's cost! To me, specifically. It's time to finally end this. Let's go! Is everybody ready? So this is the final battle. Let's change Kanoe's heart and put an end to this. Yeah, let's give it everything we've got! If only Pubsec could see me now. God, why does he always crack me up?! In case you don't remember, yeah, we got the birdcage down. Which means there's only one place to go, inside the jail. Did, can you get, can you guess? Okay, the locked open, just like we thought. Now to make our way up those chains. Really, thanks for panning up. I would have been very confused on which way to go. Okay, <laughs> let's hustle before we get spotted. Sorry to keep you waiting, you goateed prick! We're here to straighten out that crooked heart of yours! So you've come. A warm welcome to the terrorists who toy with others' hearts in the name of their self-righteous justice. The infamous Phantom Thieves. As if you've any right to talk. You who repeatedly takes control of whomever you please. And you even tried to pass us off as a bunch of killers! You're the real bad guy here! Huh. It would appear you haven't realized just how similar we are. What? We're one and the same. We both detest this rotten society and struggle day after day to combat it. With our power to change hearts, we strive to incite change among the masses. Don't kid yourself. There's no way you're the same as us. We all know about your past. It must have been terrible for you, but still, what you're doing now makes you no better than a common criminal. I change hearts in order to exterminate the evils of this world. Are we not essentially the same? I'm simply introducing a system to keep things in order. And by creating monarchs, I'm ensuring everything plays out according to plan. What are you talking about? When the cognitive world revealed itself to me, I took it as an act of divine revelation. It was my birthright to change this godforsaken planet. With the cognitive world in my grasp, I could wipe all evil from the face of the earth. I would not waste such an incredible gift. But in order to see that dream realized, I needed a world that could be controlled. Controlled? What do you mean? I needed a world that would allow me to erase even the slightest traces of evil from people's subconscious minds. To that end, I required something that could reach everyone and bring them to submission. Yes, it seems AI was the solution to that problem. 
Thus, the next step was to acquire Emma, and have it learn more about cognitive science at the research lab in Okinawa. The end results were the jails created by Emma. Unique cognitive worlds in which no heart, no matter how cold, could resist the change. You saying Emma made the jails? So that's why the jails were left standing even after we defeated the monarchs. The jails aren't perfect, mind you. A jail's area of effect only covers roughly one city. Peculiar has such a phenomenal power, has such a limited range. In order to change the hearts of all humanity, I needed nothing short of an army of monarchs. So I began gathering pawns. Powerless, lamenting puppets who felt as hopeless on this earth as I once did. And do you know what happens when you grant people like that the power to change hearts? They welcome their newfound power with open arms. And by using Emma to guide them, keeping them under control is a menial task. With the monarchs I personally selected, I could change the hearts of the festering rabble who calls this rotten place home. With the monarchs at my command, I could change the heart of anyone who dares step out of mine. That was the end game. Operation Oraculi. But you phantom thieves had to show up and ruin everything. So when we started taking down your jails, you got scared that your plan would fail. That's why you used the police and turned Akane into a monarch. It was all an attempt to stop us. It's not too late. I can still erase these obstacles and start over. still so naive. But eventually, even you will come to understand. Fight all you want. The most you can do is change the hearts of a scant few. Don't you see that my way is far more efficient? So everything will be fine as long as you're the one making all the decisions? Who do you think you are? Some kind of god? You're just forcing your ideas on everyone else! What foolish logic. So when you change people's hearts, it's right. But when someone else does it, it's wrong. I've built an entire infrastructure for changing hearts. What was impossible for you, I have made a reality. As a hero, I will reign over the whole world with infallible justice. You used Akane for this ridiculous plan of yours? She was just an innocent girl. Everyone you've made a monarch in some form of trauma. But you treated them like tools even toyed with their lives. You don't know the first thing about justice. Then do you believe you could have saved me? Huh? Let's say you had been around back then. Could you have saved me from my father? I had nowhere to run. I was just a scared, helpless child left to suffer by himself. Well, could you really have saved me? Even now. There are surely others being brought up in the same hell that I was. And yet you've done nothing to help them. Well, that's... You only destroy the evils you just happen to come across. But you'll never save everyone. Me, however. I have the power to change the entire world. No one will ever have to suffer as I did ever again. And to do that, you need something beyond what the Phantom Thieves can offer. You need more than some childish, heroic fantasy. But that's not justice. All you're doing is brainwashing everyone. You're taking away their freedom, who they are. And what's the difference? Both of us change the hearts of others against their will. So how am I any different from you? <sighs> Don't you understand? What? For you, changing someone's heart means imprisoning them. For the Phantom Thieves, it means setting them free. You may steal desires like them, but the Phantom Thieves give people hope. Maybe you don't realize it, but I think, deep down, you know you're nothing like them. Mm. It seems there's little point in discussing this further. If we can't reach an understanding, then only one side can remain. It's time to decide which of us truly walks the path of justice. Uh, 
There aren't any real heroes left. So, why not make our own? The world needs someone willing to fight for its people's justice. A hero to lead them, to unify them. A hero like me! <laughs> Zephyrus mech may look like a kid's toy, but it does damage. First skill we got to this freaking thing! Prominence Ray does so much damage, it's unbelievable. The rocket punch, I've never even been hit by it once. But the camera will spin around if you go behind the mech, so be careful. And god dang, I love this fight. This is what Strikers is all about. Seriously. They knew how to end this game off in a bang, but we're going into the next phase already. I'm not prepared. Hope you are. Let's get up onto the second tier and start firing. When Zephyrus Mech is casting Supernova, you need to run around to all the rail guns and fire at him to do sufficient amounts of damage. However, be careful on the last shot. You want to save it until you get the prompt. Trust me, you'll know when you hear it. Hopefully it's soon. Jesus Christ, those missiles are coming. Hope. Uh. Our chance. Shoot him down. Stop the rule of bringing a giant robot to a fight, right? Surrender! It's over. Submit to my justice or die! I am the hero in this story! I will create a world without evil! This is it! It's not right! No way I'm gonna let you come on! So far, we're doing okay. I have tried to practice a lot against this guy. For the most part, I got a majority of his move figured out. Every time he goes for the rocket volley, though, I... Oh, God. You cannot dodge it super... I gotta focus. Okay. Everything else is very easy to dodge, except for the rockets. Hopefully, Makoto will heal me with D-Rahan. If not, we're gonna have a problem. I'm in the prominence array. All of his skills are... Yeah. All of his skills are physical based which you can resist not necessarily nullify in this game which is okay but so far we're doing fine we got our show time i think we might have this one in the bag man i was scared for nothing this mech ain't so bad i got that no seriously rajanaga completely of this 1200 bro <laughs> The world needs a new system! The only way! Persona! It's all just gonna go to the game without doing anything by ourselves! We won't go back to the world! Well said, girls. Kanoe just wants to control the entire world. I cannot believe how lucky I'm getting in this fight, though. Look how long this combo chain has been going! God! I love it, but, uh, oh god. That is a skill I don't think we've talked about yet. Uh, Joker, in particular, can stay airborne with his bullets for a very long time. I oh God, highly recommend you just keep repeating a combo for as long as you can and then firing your gun to reset said combo just to keep it going. Really, outside of Prominence Ray and his toe blasts, which are really, really... I don't know why the crud you built those into the robots. Maybe it was a part of the show. I didn't see it. Kanoe is such a fun boss fight. I hope I'm doing it justice. 
Just the sheer bombasticness of the music, all the lasers, everything. I am gonna die. We should probably swap eventually, but... I'm just having too much fun, dude. This is so goddamn cool. I don't even want to heal. I just want to keep it an even fight, dude. God dang! We got really lucky with that crit, by the way. I am I'm not super skilled with uh, using Wolf, but I'm gonna try my best. I almost gave it by the rocket punch! At this stage, we've seen everything that Kanoe can throw at us. We even interrupted his second supernova with the all-out attack. I didn't even know you could do that. Seriously, Wolf is just tearing him to pieces. I mean, I... Uh, okay, we somehow dodged that. I don't even know how I did it, but... Man. I thought the hero of the story could put up a little more of a fight. Please die. D we even dodged. I didn't even know you could do that. Anyways, let's wrap this up. The hero can lose. He must be victorious. Work, damn it! Is that it? So we gotta put him down one last time. Come on. Phantom Thieves! Let's end this! A hero must stand his ground. He must not let evil overcome him. He may be our enemy, but you've got to admire his determination. Neck or not, really kicking it up a notch. Watch your backs, guys! Who is all this? Are you a drop of the robot? Hitting those with enough force will cause them to explode. Explode, huh? Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Oh, yeah. In the name of justice, I will end the evils of this world. There's a terrifying sword. Yeah. Just swing away at it. Take this. Take this. Round two against Akira, the hero. This is one heck of a fight, and I absolutely love it. There's not a there's not a single thing I would have changed about this. However, he is very powerful, and so are we. So, first things first, we're doing our Showtime attack. I don't give a crud! This should roughly do a third of his eight. No, that would be way too much. Let's get our numbers right! A fifth? Freaking no. A tenth? I'm really scatterbrained. I don't know if you could tell. 10% of his HP bar. Easily. Speaking of my HP bar, I should probably get to that. I absolutely love the moves that they gave this guy, but... If you are fighting him, always stay behind him. A majority of his moves can only hit right in front of him. If he goes for his alpha strike, do not ever get in front of him. It hits three times and does immense damage and can stun you. Not great. Cross Slash, also a skill exclusive to Izanagi. I don't know why you got it, but he does. My buffs are running up. I need to restock those. There's a lot going on here. One of his easy... Oh my god, I dodged... One of his easiest to dodge skills is the meteor smash thing not such a big deal we can easily deal with it it's super telegraph however the ai is not doing so hot they are going to get hit by that and it will do massive damage this is why i prioritize just focusing on joker destroying the uh pieces of the machinery when you can like now and then he dodged it god dang it <sighs> okay this is also a fight where if you just Go for- oh my god, I can't believe I'm getting this. You just go for a raw Zeodon, he will have a chance to dodge it just like the Joker fight. No. I think we already lost Final Guard. God dang it. Alright. Things are- things are getting a little spicy up in here! Okay. I don't have any more covers. Oh my god. This guy- yeah, Dyn- Dyn- Meteor. Meteor. It's really not a big deal. You just have to be a little patient. Slash Omega. Only strikes one time. The beta does in a wide range, so you gotta be careful of that. Outside of that, watch out for his laser moves. And he should be fine. It is a just 
super well designed fight. I am afraid of losing though, so I will start healing. Okay. We got from me now. Oh. I thought I dodged that. Apparently I did not. F you! I'm coming! Bring it! Go, go! I'll show you what a true hero is made of! Damn, he's quick. As you see, now that we are under half HP, he will start to cast Megidolon. It is very scary. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I had one left, thank God. It is very scary. However, just like the dynamic meteor, very telegraphed. And once he uses that skill, he's wide open to an attack. I am absolutely sweating. I cannot believe how close this fight is. We lost Makoto. God dang, I don't want to revive. I just want to have I want to have it as fair as possible. Oh, holy crap, we might lose. Okay. Come on, bring it. Hopefully this breaks the sheet. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what else I can say. He's just so goddamn fast. They really went all out on this fight. Even if the rest of the game had to suffer. Even if climbing all the way... Oh, my God. Even if climbing all the way up to this brick was the roughest crap in the game, this more than makes up for it. What a fight, dude. Also, I should probably get these legs out of the way so I don't almost die like before. Jeez. We're completely out of SP. I... It doesn't matter, though, if you dodge well enough using the... Oh, my... God. No. Oh. Uh, that's bad. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, uh, keep dodging like that, though. Unfortunately, now the Joker's out of the picture. Uh, it's only Wolf, and Wolf is almighty affinity. This is bad. Okay. I can't risk it. I, I don't want to cheap out and revive any of the Phantom Thieves. Screw it! Old man versus old man! Let's go! You think your sword's big? Mine's way bigger! Bring it on! I can't believe this crap. You don't understand the time. Uh, I'm done. Oh, I'm alive. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was over. You don't understand. The timing for the dodge is so precise. It is just unbearable. Also, I'm not that good at using wolf. But we're pretty close to our show time. I'm. I still have endu er, enduring soul. I think it should be fine. We could. Doesn't even matter. The down gauge. Because we have no more party members, but screw it. I, I wanted a 1v1. Joker versus Akira. Well, this is good, too. Our showtime <laughs> did not do a lot of damage, but oh, hey, I'll take whatever I can get. When we're in Fury, our crit chance does increase. Oh my God, yes. Not really going to amount to a lot, because, yeah, you only really want crits to do a tiny bit more damage. The secondary effect of the shield gauge going down is a lot better. I cannot believe this. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. This is pure adrenaline. You freaking douche. Okay. <laughs> Another Megidolon. I'm fine with that. You know what? I don't give a cry. YOLO! Full heal me, baby. I don't give a dump. Get that Fury Gauge. Oh, God. I actually can't do the Fury Gauge mid-combo. Let's maybe waste. Okay. Crap. I need a heal. No more Fury. All right. We can't do that. I'm getting a lot of damage from the... Uh, Phantom dashes, though. Jesus Christ. That's, yeah, 97. He's almost done. Come on. Keep, yeah, keep doing those easy moves. I can dodge easy. Oh, yeah, that one, too. Okay, I'm down. I'm down. Look at this. He, he primed himself for this. But a bing. Another 68 damage. God dang it. That last shield, though. It's not totally useless. Once we get that down, he will be a little weaker. So I'm fine with that. Uh, God dang it. Luckily, the uh, Fury is just so goddamn huge. I cannot risk this, though. We gotta start using some buffs and crap. I think we're fine now. Hopefully, Futaba, you got me? I could use Fury, or, uh... Oh, my God. I don't know if this looks hard, but it really is, okay? I don't know what to... Oh, God, dang it. I also just realized it's almighty damage versus almighty damage. That's so freaking cool! Okay, don't care, though. I could use the Heat Riser, but we got food. I'm just gonna use it. Screw it. Come on! I 
better myself. And that's why I'm taking you down. All right, guys. Finish him off. Wait, what you have a crew are you talking? You effing dead. And Sue was off your... He's about to beat. Come on. I just realized this is so goddamn po <laughs> poetic, dude. Old man versus old man. Giant sword versus giant sword. Meggy Dolan versus Meggy Dolan. And after all, he put Akane through. This guy's got this coming. Come on. We're so close to another showtime. That should do it. Please. That shield is not going down, but it doesn't matter! Uh, he does so much, I never would have thought, god dang. <sighs> Jesus Christ, come on, just just drop already! I need a little bit more showtime, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> yes, we got it! End it! Woo! Give up already. Please, please give up already. <laughs> I never miss my you sure don't! God dang. That's what you get for messing my daughter, you bearded prick! No! I can't lose! Stop now! Okay. This should expand our time to walk. Okay. A new skill! Here we go! Yet, the hero can't be defeated like this. I am the enforcer of justice. You would deny me, Joker. Our definitions of the word are one and the same. Dude, even we don't know what justice really is. And we don't mean to say that what we're doing is always right either. But we're definitely not just going to sit back while you tell everyone what to do. It's true, there are days when I wish to immerse myself in my work. Days when I'd rather be wandering around town. There are also days when I wish simply to spend time with those close to me. To throw all of that away and do only what the person in front of you says. Why, at that point, you're nothing but a slave to fate. All you're doing is taking away people's rights to choose for themselves and denying them their freedom. When it comes down to it, it's no different from what your father did to you. Trampling upon the one thing that makes us human. That's the very evil you claim to hate. Are you saying I'm the evil one? We choose the roads we take. We don't let anyone tie us down. And we do so because we want to walk our own paths our own way. But if I fall here, then what will become of the world? There are no heroes. I'm the only one who can save it. Are you sure? I've seen the monarchs, and the people whose hearts you've changed. They didn't look happy at all. I don't think you saved anyone doing what you did. <sighs> you know, Kanoe, the world is full of evil, and there's plenty of scum out there who seem well beyond redemption. But there are some, like the Phantom Thieves, who refuse to give up. And there are people out there who, thanks to these guys, finally got the courage to crawl their way out of the darkest depths of hell. People who managed to awaken the hero inside themselves. Isn't that how we'll make this world a better place? <sighs> what you're trying to do will just erase those heroes. Some before they even get their chance. Can anybody really know peace if they're forced to be stuck that way all the time? I'd be erasing the heroes. Kanoe, it's not the people who need saving. If anyone needs it, it's you. Huh? Ever since you killed your father all those years ago, all you've ever done is run away, rotten as he was, having to live with the pain of killing your own flesh and blood, knowing that you could be caught at any moment. You were alone. And getting stronger was the only way you could protect yourself. I... You're right. I... I killed my father. And I lied to escape the punishment. I called it justice, hoping that there'd never come a day when I had to face the truth. But what I did back then was just evil. Then you know what you need to do, Kanoe. The hero you keep inside needs to save you from that evil. The hero I keep inside... I have to save myself. <laughs> I see now. 
It's been right there with me, all along. Very well. I admit defeat. I'll confess my crimes, and accept my punishment. Whatever it may be. I'll destroy Emma as well. You have my word. Phantom Thieves. If it's possible, I only ask that you please prove to the world that I was defeated by the real heroes of this story. Ones with a true sense of justice. Thank you. have to wait and see. We certainly learned a lot. Emma? Noe's big plan? Noe said he taught cognitive science to Emma in order to create jails. Shutting down Emma should mean the jails will finally disappear. So our names are probably in the clear too, right? Well, that depends on Kanoe's confession, but I'm thinking it'll probably work out that way. <laughs> hmm? What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. Those things you said back there. It was nice to hear you talk about us that way. Agreed, though, in all honesty. I can't say I thought all of what Kanoe said was wrong. However, your words reminded me of precisely why we do this, Senkichi. That's one of the big reasons why we started the Phantom Thieves in the first place. To give courage to people. Yeah, that speech was top, Senkichi. Gotta give you props for that one. <laughs> Any more of this, and I'd say you were proud of me. Anyway, we've done what we set out to do. So, in the meantime... Yeah, uh, not gonna lie, a nice long bath sounds amazing right now. But, since we're still here in Osaka, maybe we should get something to eat? Hell yeah! Osaka Feast Round 2 coming at ya! Then let's get our butts in gear! I'm talking deep fried skewers, pork buns, okonomiyaki! Oh man, what else? We've done nothing but eat since we got to Osaka. Eh, you're young. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Today's on me. Get whatever you want. Woohoo! Graham's got a heart of gold! Leave the search to me. I'll find us whatever you guys want. And our tour guide's coming in clutch. Sheesh, don't get too carried away, guys. We've got big changes on the horizon, you know? Osaka has a lot of top-tier sushi vendors, too. Sushi? What are we waiting for? Not so fast. Let us not forget the blowfish and crab hot pots. Hot pot again? Eh, whatever. Still down. Uh, hey, take it easy, you guys. I am Akira Kanoe, founder and CEO of Medis. On behalf of the company, I have an announcement of grave importance. Recently, I stated my company had been targeted by the Phantom Thieves in an attempt to discredit our company. I now admit that this was a total fabrication, with no truth to it whatsoever. I, Akira Kanoe, am the true culprit. I devised a plan to accuse the Phantom Thieves of a terrorist plot so I could conceal my own heinous crimes. Specifically, so I could abuse Emma and gain control of people's hearts. I publicly admit the Virtual Assistant app, Emma, contains a function that allows me to manipulate other people using specific language 
I could change their hearts and make them do as I wished. Yes, this process is essentially brainwashing, and I have scores of evidence proving it works. The change of heart epidemic that has plagued this nation is entirely my own doing. By controlling people's hearts, I was able to make them do my bidding across the entire country, including horrific crimes. This includes the death of Shuzo Ubukata, the head researcher of our Okinawa research facility. Instead of taking responsibility for my actions, I shifted the blame onto the Phantom Thieves. I must also confess, these are not my only crimes. Over 20 years ago, I claimed that my father was killed during a home invasion, when the one who really killed him was me. I took my father's life and attempted to frame others for my crime, so I could avoid any repercussions. These are the crimes I confess to you all. As of today, I will be stepping down as CEO of Medis and turning myself in to the police. Emma will be shut down. The AI will be wiped from the servers. All these terrible things were done for nothing but my own selfish desires. So now I must do the right thing and bring myself to justice. Controlling people's hearts? Is that real? Wait, Emma? Like, the app, Emma? Oh shit, better delete that. Kanoe-san, I thought you were a hero to this country. I knew it. I knew the Phantom Thieves were really the good guys. <laughs> nice try there. Oh yeah! Yes! <laughs> it really worked! A comeback win for the Phantom Thieves. We've brought down the Mastermind. Looks like the case is finally closed. Once we confirm Emma's no longer running, our work will be done. Yep. Once that's done, everything's up to the police and the courts. In fact, I'll head over and pick him up now. Good luck. I hope it goes well for you. Yep. Well, off I go. Now, what should the rest of us do? We'll probably hear all about it tomorrow. At that point, I suppose we should get back to Tokyo. So we're finally nearing the end of our journey. What say we wrap it up with a round of sightseeing? It looks like Osaka has plenty to check out. Ooh, sounds good here! So, once the jails disappear, the trip will be over. Hey, do you remember the deal we made? I joined the Phantom Thieves, and in return, I learned about the heart. I've experienced so much on this journey, and learned all sorts of feelings, but I still don't truly understand the heart. All this time, I've had the same query. What is the difference between you all and Kanoe? He was trying to help people, wasn't he? And the Phantom Thieves do the same thing. However, everyone instead argues that Kanoe was wrong. What exactly was wrong? That is true. The trauma he endured is truly awful, but there's something else. The Phantom Thieves live their lives following their beliefs. But Kanoe and his monarchs, they couldn't do that. The Phantom Thieves must have strong hearts to live as they do. When our journey ends, I won't be able to help you anymore. And our deal will be finished. If the jails disappear, I won't be able to learn about myself anymore. What should I do? If I had a strong heart like the Phantom Thieves, maybe then I could choose my own path. Now hang on there, Sophia. I think you got the wrong idea. Just because we're going back to Tokyo, that doesn't mean your deal's up, right? I think I'm 
kidding? The jails may go away, but we've still learned a whole lot on this trip. And there's got to be some evidence about your past here in the real world. So how's about we all go looking for it together? Oh, you too. Come on now, don't get me going too. All friends here. Feel free to hang out in this guy's phone as long as you like. In fact, we'd welcome the company. Thank you. Yo, what's the holdup, guys? <laughs> Whoops. Looks like we're being slow pokes. Let's get going. Mr. Kanoe, what is going on? Everything you said, was that true? Please, settle down. I'm sure Mr. Kanoe had his reasons for... <sighs> it's fine. I admit I've made so much trouble for you. Uh, I'm entirely to blame. I'm on my way to turn myself into the police now. I apologize for leaving the company in such a state. Mr. Kanoe. Allow us to spare you the drive. Excuse me, who are... We're the police. Akira Kanoe, you are under arrest. I'll spare you the list of charges. How great it is to return a favor, Akira Kanoe. And you are? The last monarch you installed was my only daughter. Uh... You toyed with and ruined countless lives, and now it'll be for nothing. You even used an innocent, grieving child for your own benefit. You're taking responsibility for what you've done. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was so desperate. I, I disregarded something so important. Free will. I was on the verge of stamping out what makes us truly human. I haven't turned out any different from my own father. On your feet. We'll hear it all at the station. All about the connection between Iwata and the top brass on our force. There's nothing you can do to earn my forgiveness. But your confession can save the lives of a whole bunch of people. It's what you wanted, right? Now's your time to be the hero. Huh? It's all up to you. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Why isn't this voiced? That press conference of Kanoe's. Don't tell me the Phantom Thieves got to him! Perhaps... Do you understand what this means? If he confesses everything, we're both finished! You need to pin everything on him. Make sure this can't be traced back to me in any way. No. Actually, we could go the secretary route again. Hey! Are you listening to me? Legislator Oada? What are you doing here? Uh, what have I been doing this whole time? Uh, what? No. His heart is... Well, that was that from weird. It's gotten pretty late. I wonder if everyone else is still have having fun. Something tells me, yeah, that's probably the case. I think we should all celebrate a little today. Are you guys enjoying Osaka? We're having a celebration in a bit, so don't eat out too much. Let's meet up in an hour. We're having a celebration? <gasps> Leave it to Lady On. That was really thoughtful of her to invite everyone. Mm. But the meetup isn't for another hour. So I got a bit more time until then. What should we do? What about visiting Tonboto? I'd enjoy seeing the city from up high. Oh, now that you mention it, yeah. I have not gone up there yet. Have we? Let's invite someone to go with us. Oh, crud. Sure, we beat Kanoe, but dude! Now the true, most difficult task is ahead of us. Who are we going to take up to the tower? And will the continent section tear me to pieces or not? You already know they will. Anyways, that was... 
not exactly how I expected that fight to go, but hey, we won in the end. And next time on Persona 5 Strikers, we celebrate and get the heck back to Tokyo! See you guys next time. Bye.